Network Simulator is a very handy tool to build multiple scenarios and test whether replacing your current access points with some other AP model, for example, 6 gigahertz capable access point, will actually improve quality of your network or whether some other action is required to improve your Wi-Fi. So here, as a, I have an example of a plan where you can clearly see these gray areas, uh, meaning that uh, my requirements are not met for the signal strength in these areas. And what I want to test is replace these current access points with 6 gigahertz capable APs and see whether the situation will improve or not. First, what I want to do is make sure that uh, the network simulator is available. For that, I go to File, Preferences and check that Enable Beta Features is on. This means that uh, because a network simulator is still a beta feature, uh, it needs to be enabled there. And now you can see that uh, Actions menu has an option to choose network simulator. So if you launch that, you will see a dialog where you can select your current access point model. Uh, currently, I have uh, Rukus APs and I need to select the exact model uh, to be replaced. So I know that is this one, 7363. And now I select the target access points, which will be used as the replacement. And I want to use a Cisco AP for that. I, I will use this um, access point, uh, which is 6 gigahertz uh, capable, so this C9136i. And now I will run the simulation and see what happens. So what the network simulator is doing right now, it goes through all my floors and replaces my current access points with the selected uh, Cisco access point. So after the uh, so-called rip and replace scenario is complete, I can see the results of this replacement and uh, I can analyze the changes. Basically the changes from my original situation to the replacement scenario. And what I can see already from the summary bar is that actually my network health got worse by this uh, replacement. So I can also expand the details and see that, uh, well, at least on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, uh, on all floors but one, the network health got worse with this replacement. And of course, because I didn't have in my original scenario any 6 gigahertz capable APs, I can see that uh, still the network health results for 6 gigahertz are not great if I use the same AP locations. Uh, the beautiful thing about network simulator is you can always go back to the original data. So you can always use the network filter and again select all my networks and you can see that your original data, your original access points are still here. So they are not lost or gone anywhere. Another thing you can do is you can run multiple simulations. So uh, I will go now again to Network Simulator, select my current access point model, and now I want to replace it with something else. I want to replace it with uh, uh, Arova access points, also 6 gigahertz capable, uh, but I want to compare these uh, several scenarios. So let me just find a proper Aruba access point. So I will use this AP635 uh, from Aruba to replace my current access point. So let's simulate and see what happens. And the process goes again. So running through the floors and replacing access points with another AP model. And after the simulation is complete, I, I can again observe and analyze the results. So let's just wait for a minute and here we go. So it seems that it's uh, performed a little better, but still um, for most cases I see that my network health uh, uh, percentage pass rate is still very low. 
So again, looking at the details, uh, yes, on a couple of floors, the uh, network health got a bit better, but still uh, for for many, uh, many bands and many floors, the situation got worse. So if I want to analyze it, uh, this scenario is in depth, I can go to inspect mode. And here from the right hand side, you can compare the metrics for different scenarios. So currently I have this uh, replacement scenario with Aruba and I can still choose the uh, Cisco uh, replacement scenario and see uh, how did, did it manage. And also, of course, I can compare it to my original, original uh, network health and I need to choose the right bands always. So, for example, for 5 gigahertz band, uh, I can compare metrics for different scenarios as well. So, uh, what's the lesson here? Is that uh, simply replacing your access points with uh, another model, even 6 gigahertz capable, will not necessarily solve your Wi-Fi issues, but some redesigning and real Wi-Fi design is required.